Hello, everybody. It's me, Aaron, or the True DBZ King. You know what's behind you? It doesn't matter what you call me. So does Dash Rell. Also, I want to say, I'm sorry that this review was late. I'm sorry. What happened? Well, work happened. And yeah, I made a video talking about everything about, about, yeah. I would make a video talking about work, so go watch that if you want more context. Besides that, today I'm going to review an old figure, which, where this guy came out? Since when, 2010 or 2011? It gotta be one of those. This is the Tamashi Nation SA figure cell, but this is the, uh, not the original version. This is the premium color version cell. So basically, the original version of the cell, which I don't have, is it's it's, it's a different it's a, it's a somewhat different color. Yes, a different color of green. This version cell have a darker purple skin for his uh, body parts and a and a darker green shading of the color green, just like his Dragon Star version. So right now we are going to review. Right now I'm going to talk about this Bug Man. Yeah, so let's do that. So articulation one, how is he? Uh, pretty good. Yeah. Head, not shaking. You can pose, you can do this to his legs. Same here. His body is a little wobbly because this figure is pretty old, so this dash well. Uh, and my Ray Ranger fell. Hold on. <laughs> Come on, Jack. Don't. Don't do this to me. <sighs> anyway. Here, here he is. His, uh, his articulation is somewhat go by this far. Ooh, don't want to break that. <laughs> so, so, here you go. I will say this. He does look like, he does look like his anime version. His anime, his anime self. One from, one from the show. If you want the Cell Saga. The dark shade in green, the dark shade green, pretty good. The smirk, the pretty good. But I feel like lately Dragon Ball figures have been, well, <laughs> lost their articulation, have been feeling more and more limited. And this guy, and this guy is somewhat one of them. But this, but this is just my copy of the figure, so this dash well. So yeah, I talk about the figure and all that. Let's talk about his his accessories. Oh boy! So we have cells cross cross uh, cross arms. Yeah, I think cell they used it in the show one time while waiting for the cell games. And we have both of Cell's faces right here. We have his serious face and his angry face right there. Also, we have Cell's smirking face on him right there, if you can, you can see. And here are Cell's hands. He come with a lot. He come with two uh, blast hands. <laughs> of course he does. He, Mike, he come with a lot of hands. Oh my God. <laughs> Cell come with this one hand he used for, uh, to put on his hand, on his head like that. You know what I'm talking about. This look like a death beam hands. <laughs> God, someone help me. 
he come with a lot of blast hands like three of them. So what's up with that? Ay ay ay. So come so come with a lot, that's for sure. So how how does he stay how does he scale with other figures? Well, I have with me his Dragon Star counterpart. I don't do this, but just for this once, I have here is his Dragon Star counterpart from Bandai America. And you can tell the Dragon Star version is way buffer and way bigger than his figure arts counterpart. Because one is built one from America, the other one's made from Japan. <laughs> Even though there are some moments that both versions surpass one another, but besides that. So hey, so here he is right next to the Lightning Collection Red Red MMPR Ranger. Here he is right next to the uh Oh great. Wow, well, that's just great. I just broke my uh, task. I just broke my task, Master. <laughs> oh, that's just great. I'm so sorry, guys. I just broke my task, Master. He have a broken arm. See? <laughs> ah, this figure's trash. Oh, well. Here he is, right here, here he is, right with a one uh, handed Marvel Legend Taskmaster, which I think is bad. He's somewhat, he's somewhat on scale with them both, but not there. If you look at it, J Jason is sort is somewhat shorter, and Taskmaster is a little bit taller. Here he is, right next to the SA figure, Super Saiyan Blue, Gogeta. <laughs> and here he is, right next to the SA figure, Spec Selection, Common Rider Build. Ah, build somewhat taller. Well, these are all these are all made in Japan, so this dash well. <laughs> Build is somewhat taller. Well, the antennas are, but but Cell is the second. Okay, so Cell's tallest, second taller is Gogeta, and third got the B build. If you look like you look at it right here. So what do I think? Overall, this figure hasn't, in my opinion, this figure hasn't aged well. I really hope that Tomashi, someone make a 2.0 version of Cell. They already are making a 2.0 version of Piccolo. That's coming out next month. So I really do hope that Tamashi make a 2.0 version of Perfect Cell because we can really use one. Our best, our best choice for like a bad articulated version of Cell is somewhat this guy, the Dragon Star version. Don't get me wrong, Dragon Star had that problem with articulation for the figures, but besides that, I really do hope that Tamashi make a 2.0 version of Cell. So in reality, this figure. Is somewhat a fifty percent for me. I'm sorry. He has he haven't aged that well. But I really do hope that Tamashi make a new version of him in the future. 
So that's all I want to say. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Put notification on my YouTube channel. Keep an eye out for my for my next video. Follow my Instagram. Follow my Instagram account at book at bokusatsu. Yeah, I changed my name. It's a long story. Follow my Instagram account at book at bokusatsu. Bokusatsu, sorry. And follow my Vimeo account. I post Comrade dubs on there. And maybe some AMVs. Besides that, I got mostly Comrade dubs. So yeah, that's all I want to say. My name's Aaron, and I'm out. Peace.